Welcome to 5-Minute Chapters, the podcast where we summarize important writings on education and learning. I'm your host, Daniel Bowe, and in today's episode, we'll be diving into Chapter 4 of The New Art and Science of Teaching by Dr. Robert Marzano. This chapter focuses on conducting practicing and deepening lessons to help students develop their understanding and fluency in skills and processes. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. In this chapter, Dr. Marzano emphasizes the importance of going beyond the initial introduction of content through direct instruction. To truly deepen student knowledge, teachers need to guide their students towards a deeper understanding and help them develop fluency in skills and processes. One key concept discussed is the distinction between procedural and declarative knowledge. Procedural knowledge refers to skills, strategies, and processes that require a set of steps performed in a specific order. For example, converting fractions to decimals is a procedural skill. On the other hand, declarative knowledge pertains to concepts and facts. An effective strategy for deepening both types of knowledge is examining similarities and differences. This helps students make connections and gain a deeper understanding of the content. So, how can we implement this technique in our classroom? Let's break it down into three steps. Step 1. Designing Structured Practice for Procedural Knowledge When teaching procedural knowledge, it is crucial to plan structured practice activities. Imagine a unit or set of lessons focused on translating primary data into specific types of graphs. <clears throat> To ensure students progress through the stages of development for procedural knowledge, follow these steps. First, the cognitive stage. Introduce the concept and provide clear explanations and examples. Next, move on to the associative stage. Engage students in activities that allow them to practice the steps and strategies involved. Finally, reach the autonomous stage where students can apply the knowledge independently. Provide opportunities for students to showcase their understanding through real-world applications and projects. Step 2. Examining similarities and differences for declarative and procedural knowledge. Now let's discuss the power of examining similarities and differences. This technique is not limited to declarative knowledge. It also applies to procedural knowledge. Let's take the example of supply and demand. Have your students identify and articulate characteristics that are common to both concepts and unique to each. This comparative analysis will deepen their understanding of both topics. To implement this strategy, you can use various techniques. For instance, have students complete sentence stems that prompt them to compare and contrast people, places, events, concepts, or processes. Another effective approach is to create a three-column table where students summarize similarities, differences, and the significance of those similarities and differences. Encourage them to engage in discussions and group activities to explore these connections further. Step 3. Fostering Productive Habits of Mind In addition to content knowledge, we must nurture productive habits of mind in our students. These dispositions, such as seeking accuracy, clarity, resisting impulsivity, creating cohesion and coherence, and seeking incremental steps, help students become more effective learners. These habits cut across a wide range of activities, and it's essential to provide practice opportunities for students to develop them. You can embed these habits of mind into various classroom activities. For example, encourage students to ask questions, seek clarification, and reflect on their learning. Incorporate activities that require them to think critically, analyze information, and make connections. By fostering these habits, we are equipping students with lifelong learning skills that extend beyond the classroom. And there you have it, a high-level overview of how to implement the technique of, from Chapter 4 of The New Art and Science of Teaching. Remember, designing structured practice, examining similarities and differences, and fostering productive habits of mind are key strategies to deepen student understanding and develop fluency in skills and processes. I hope you found this episode helpful and that you can apply these techniques in your classroom. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we'll be delving into another insightful chapter. 
Until then, keep inspiring young minds and keep learning yourself. I'm Daniel Bow. Five-minute chapters, because even teachers need cliff notes sometimes.